some general do's and don'ts for the teaching of young learners. Firstly, within your lessons you must always use English as the language of instruction. You need to speak slowly and you need to reduce the amount of teacher talk time by using gesture and mime as often as possible. And finally, for the list of do's, do play games as often as possible. But bear in mind that the games that we're suggesting here are interactive, communicative games that have some educational purpose. As an opposite to this one, don't use their native language. As soon as they know that you have some appreciation of their native language, quite often they'll just sit and wait for you to use it. So here, always use English as the language instruction. Don't use their native language. With young learners, it's quite important that we don't put them on the spot because that can let, cause them to lose their confidence very, very quickly. One way that we can reduce that of ever happening is obviously to use pair work with our students. Obviously, at this young age, we can't expect them to have everything that they're going to need within the lesson, so don't expect them to have what they need. At this young age, we tend to be quite forgetful, so we may not have a pen or a piece of paper, and we need to be prepared for that when we come to the lesson. Perhaps the final thing that we can put in the don't one, or well, we could put the opposite in the do, is that we shouldn't ever be afraid of making fun of ourselves. Our lessons can be much more entertaining for example, if we're learning about the vocabulary of animals, if we, as the teacher, actually act out what those animals are at the very start. So we shouldn't be afraid of being self-conscious. So finally in this section, just some ideas around the discipline within young learners groups. Again, some things to do and some things not to do. Firstly, try to make yourself aware of any problems that they do have, either within school or outside of school, because they can affect the way that they're going to learn. You need to change the dynamic of the classroom as often as possible, and this can relate to the actual seating arrangement within the classroom, who they work with in terms of pair work, or who they work with in terms of groups. So try to change that dynamic as, as often as you can. Always be fair and consistent within the operating rules that you have within the classroom. And again, change your activities as often as possible to keep people motivated and fresh throughout your lessons. All of these do's will help you with the discipline within the classroom. Some things which can cause discipline to degrade is when you are inconsistent. Secondly, when you set out a set of rules for the students and you actually break them yourself. If you say that no one should be talking when you are talking, then you shouldn't interrupt your students in that way either. Very important not to use physical punishment. And finally, it is very important, particularly in different cultures, that you don't get angry. 